Hey everyone, it's Rude Devil back again, and this is episode 10 of the uh, of our Let's Play for the Battle of Miller 2. So we are officially in double digits. It's kind of cause of celebration, but we must first begin with the uh, we must first commence with the sixth mission, which is the uh, Kelduin River. Now we go all over the goddamn place. We're in the Misty Mountains. Then you go all the way to the Grave Havens, then you go Blue Mountains, and now we're all the way at Kelduin. And this level, I have to say, has has to be one of my favorites in the good campaign. It's it's challenging. Uh, y you get introduced to a new hero and a couple of new units that we haven't seen, and it does make some very exciting gameplay. While the heroes wing their way east, Sauron's armies march north from Dol Guldur and arrive at a human settlement on the river Kelduin. Dwarves from nearby Erebor, led by King Dane, come to the aid of their human allies to the south. Before the battle ensues, Dane sends a messenger to King Thranduil of the Wood Elves, asking for their help. The dwarves must fight a desperate battle while they await reinforcements from the elves. This battle is gone ill. Our forces scattered, the settlement overrun. We need the luck of the gods or all will be lost. <laughs> By the hammer of Glowen, we're cut off. Stand strong, my bearded friends. All right, guys, here we go. This is uh, in a human settlement that the dwarves are protecting. Get back to the docks and the rest of our forces, or we're as good as dead. And we are introduced to a new hero, King Dane. Who, uh, at this point in time, would actually be king under the mountain, so the uh, king of Erebor. And uh, while it doesn't actually show it in this game, he actually is killed in the history of the War of the Ring. Alright, so now we're playing as the doors and we just basically have to uh, regroup with the uh, rest of our so-called army, which is to the south. Now King Dane's going to be one of my favorite heroes. If you get him to level 10, he can summon about three battalions of doors to his side, and he's such a great hero. I don't even think I don't, I don't even think he has a weakness. Apart from his speed, but apart from that he's just a god. Oh well, there is gold up there I should probably collect. Over here! It's a troll! Stand strong, my bearded friends! Got friendly dwarves there. King Dane! I thought you were dead! Get ready, dwarves! Collect that gold, Dane. We'll definitely need the resources left later on. Oh, and we've also got uh, Men of Dale, who, while they're them men, they belong to the faction of the dwarves, and they're probably oh shit a troll. That's got to be a priority one. But they uh, they're probably my favorite archer in the end. They're not the best, but they definitely are my favorite. And I think I'm losing valuable units. Oh, you just saw that, didn't you? There's a, they have a, they have a Nazgul or a Fell Beast. <laughs> Crap! I need to definitely eliminate all these troops. Is that troll down yet? He's a level five attack troll. Wow. 
Something tells me this is going to be a lot harder than I thought. Now, I've only got one archer. So they can only do so much damage, but it's the only thing we have, so... Slowly but surely killing my doors. And I wish I had something to repel them with. But we don't, so we just have to press on. Oh, he's just... Basically he's used like a screech attack which scatters all your forces in fear. Which is really annoying. Oh, I can buy the Mithril Mail upgrade for my doors. I should probably... For some reason they're given Mithril Mail upgrade. I think the uh, base to the south must have a siege box. I think, yeah, the, the Nazgul's retreating, so I think if you do enough damage to him, you should retreat. I don't know what the hell you'd do if you lost those archers, but I don't know, he, he probably just uh, retreats on his own. Now, uh, Dane has a level, his level 4 power, it, it grants an attack boost, but it also heals everyone, so it's, it's sort of like having a second heal, it is very useful. And I'm going to use it as soon as they're all together. You bloody doors get together. You can't use a power if it borders the... If part of the power radius bo borders the sea. And as you can see, this town is like a floating... Floating fortress on the river. Let's just heal him now. There we go. Get over here! last legs! Oh sweet, I have... Uh oh. I got some... just men of Dale just sitting there. Oh, holy crap, that attack troll just killed him in one. Uh, I don't like losing those men of Dale, although they are just by themselves, they are just spawn there, so... Now the men of Dale get these black arrows, which are really good against uh, enemy uh, monsters, controls, and such. And it also causes fear, as you can see, he's running away like a chicken shit. Alright, these guys are dead. Kill the troll! Men of Dale retreat. They're level 5, I don't want to lose them. Retreat, you weirdos! I told you to retreat like 8 times. Why aren't they running away? There we go, now they are. There we go. And Dane has leveled up. He's level 6 now. Is there any place we ignored? No, we're good, we're good. Oh, we're getting closer to where we need to go. But hey, the Nazgul is back. And we have more of our units, like, literally surrounded. I think I'm gonna summon Tom Bombadil in that big mess and help him out. Destroy all Mordor catapults. Well, it looks like we have catapults to deal with now. Isn't that great? I think it's best to use uh, Dane and take down the catapults. They may be near. Stop them. There's more. There's Bombadil. Bombadil, I told you to take out this huge group, and he's just completely ignored it. Help us! Look at these fa phalanxes. They're really getting out. Come on, Dane, take that out. Bloody hell, Bombadil took out loads of them. Get these men of Dale up here. They're on defensive stance. What the hell for? Switch to defensive. I mean, to aggressive. There we go. I think these phalanxes might just survive. 
The fire! Watch out for the fire! Fire? Um, Must have another catapult. Once these guys are dead, I'll order my phalanx to south. Here we go, phalanxes are safe. Now this building here, it's got a white flag next to it. And I recommend capturing these things because they will generate resources from us and like all levels we'll definitely need a steady economy. And I think there's a few of those missions, uh, not missions, few of those buildings around so I definitely recommending, uh, recommend capturing all of them. Yeah, there's some more units. Capture that. Oh, look at this mighty clattering of units. Ah. Bane took quite a beating. He's on half health. I'm surprised about. Oh, there's more units down here. Sweet. All these units dead. They are. Dwarves attack. Axero is getting owned. Now there's a random mine shaft here, so I think we're just going to use uh, dwarven riches on that. Oh wait, it, hold on, that should still. Yeah, see, because it's bordering water, it's right. All right, there, it still works. And out, out of the uh, out of the mine shaft, we have some extra, so that gives us an another edge. And they've captured it, sweet. All right, they're almost done. Over here! Come on, extra. I was killing already. There we go. They're all dead. And most of my units are like injured, so if I can get them all together and do one big heal. And here we go. Here's the rally point up here. I'm gonna send my units there, but first I'm gonna capture that building there, which will give us a unique unit, which is the Men of Dale, I think, in this case. And we'll capture that to get some more resources. And there's more of those buildings up here. You've made it. We've already set up a small base. At last, our king arrives. Sir, do you think the elves will come and help? No time for such worries. To battle! Alright, we've reached the docks. We've and look how many dwarves are on the screen now. This is what I'm talking about. And our base pretty much consists of a hearth which will heal all units and we have two fully upgraded Hall of Warriors so that will help us in getting... Wow, this building has been captured quickly. Alright, so now the good thing about uh, inns, which is this building here, is that you can re recruit unique factions at a really low price so we can get... we can get Men of Dale for peanuts really. It's really useful. And I think I'm gonna send... Just some ra uh, just stray units to capture all the other random buildings. Uh, get that dude to capture that one up there. All right, so with all these outposts, we should uh, we should be good for economy. I mean, we should one outpost can generate 60 resources every couple of seconds, so we have about four. We'll be generating a hell of a lot of resources. Now, we don't get villagers, so the only... we can't build any archer ranges, so really the only way of getting archers is by these ends. But, uh... I should probably buy the banner carrier upgrade. And we can recruit phalanxes and guardians from here. Now, for some reason, we're automatically given the mithril mail upgrade. Which is really useful. The mithril mail pretty much makes the best defense units, which are the dwarves, even stronger. Now we're at the docks, and I'm pretty sure we're going to have to defend against- HOLY GOD, they've gone and brought the Mama Kill. And that's one of the new uh, units we've seen, the Mama Kill. They are, they are really good at trampling units, but you get one pikeman, and they will go down like a piece of paper. Like, they, they will- they will just die instantly, so... How many- we have eight guardians. We have eight guardians and only one phalanx, so this is bad. 
Is that, is that that building take? But I'm uh, Mama Killer, so weak against phalanxes that one should take it down. It pretty quickly. Oh sweet, all ends and outposts have been captured. Look how many dwarves we have. It's a shame most of them will die. <laughs> nah, they won't. I'm confident of that. Alright. Right, there's a our phalanx is a lead in the charge. Let's just watch the Mama Kill's health bar and see how quickly it dies against the phalanx. Taking it. Uh its health is still pretty good. Wow, look at that, look at it. It's Yep, that's it. And Dane leveled up from it, nice. Now I think we should mobilize, or form up rather. Damn, we have a big army. Alright, so, um, with our army reunited, and the enemy just defending for now, we can see a couple of catapults. We, uh, this is the end of the episode. Then advance when it's clear. You'll be safe in my company. So, uh, next time on the Battle from the Earth 2, we will proceed over these uh, shallow lands, and we will go and hit the enemy at their base. And, as I'm saying that, they are sending a crap ton of uh, units this way, so at the beginning of the next episode, we'll definitely see some action. This is Rude Devil, and I'll see you next time. I hope you all enjoyed.